Hey you guys, Lisa at thepenningtonpoint.com here and I thought I would just real quick show you what I do with my empty Young Living bottles. You can see this is an empty bottle. It might have the teeniest, tiniest bit I can see left in there, but um, this is what I do. So here's an empty bottle. I open the bottle up and I just pop off the little orifice reducer. Super easy just to get your fingernail in there and pull it off. It comes off really easily. All right, set this one aside. And now we have this other empty bottle. I usually keep them. This has a tiny bit left in there. Maybe a little more than I want to. I might want to use some of that before I do this little trick, but I'm going to show you here. So this is what I do. I take some extra salt and I take my hand and I will form like a little hand funnel around the top of it. Okay, and I will pour the Epsom salt, some Epsom salt into the empty bottle, just using a measuring spoon with my little hand funnel. I'll pour that in, okay, and I will get it full to like maybe here, right? So there's a little bit of room left in the top. Then I put the top back on it and I just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And what I have left, you can see, I've recently used this one. I've got a whole bunch of them. You can see that's already full with Epsom salt. And then I will just toss them in a bowl. I have a bowl of them next to my bathtub. And um, they've just been soaking for a few weeks, a few months, whatever. They're just ready for me to use. And so then I will just, when I go to take a hot bath, I have all these little um, oil-infused Epsom salts that I can just pour into my tub. Sometimes I'll actually toss the bottle in there after I dump it out just to get like every <laughs> single drop. But then um, I will then after that, I'll usually throw the bottle, finally throw the bottle away, unless I wanna peel the label off and use it for something else fun, which sometimes I will do that too. Sometimes I will just take the labels off and use it, use a carrier oil for traveling, something like that, or maybe make my own blend. Now, another thing I might do with this Epsom salt that's infused with oil is I will um, exfoliate my hands. You guys, this is so amazing on your hands. So I will take, some V6, which is the Young Living um, Carrier Oil. This stuff's incredible, you guys. And I will pump some of it, just one pump, onto my hand. So you don't need a whole bunch. It's very light, it's not greasy. And then I will take some of these. Let's see if I just can get one of them here. I'll just use this one. I'm doing this one-handed, so sorry. And I will pour some of that into my hand, okay? Probably about three times that much. And then I will rub my hands together in the sink not with the water running, just with the oil and the Epsom salt. And I will rub my hands around until it's all over both hands. And I've really, really scrubbed the exfoliant, the Epsom salt against my skin. Then I will just rinse it off. And um, of course I didn't really do it right now, but you can see it's kind of beating up. My hands have been really exfoliated at that point, And it's like they've had lotion on them. They smell amazing. In this case, Thieves, which I think is the one I use, right? Um, I would use probably about a third of a small bottle to exfoliate my hands. Um, really get a lot on there. But you just won't believe how your hands feel after that. It's a great thing to do with your empty bottles. So I have just a whole big bowl of all these empty bottles I've run out of. There's some, like now I'll have this, got this one. So just um, don't throw these bottles away. Use the even very last bit of the smell of the oil that's in there. I am going to use this up a little more before I use that one. But this one's pretty empty and I will um, now go fill it with some Epsom salt and have it ready. So I hope you guys enjoy my... Be sure and check out my blog at thepenningtonpoint.com. See ya!